Matthew Perry's battle with addiction has been widely known for quite some time. The good news is that he has overcome it and has shared his experience in his new memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing. Join us as we catch you up on Perry's struggles with addiction and how he managed to survive against the odds. Matthew Perry, like many aspiring actors, longed for fame. In 1994, he got his wish when he was cast as Chandler Bing in the popular TV show, Friends. However, behind the scenes, Perry was hiding a dark secret. He was battling severe loneliness due to his drinking. His problems with alcohol began when he was 24, right around the time he joined the cast of Friends. As time passed, he found himself sinking deeper into alcoholism. By the age of 34, Perry was consuming a staggering 55 Vicodin pills daily and had plummeted to a mere 128 pounds. He was at his lowest point during his time on Friends. Perry realized he needed to break free from this addiction, but he had no idea how. He once mentioned in an interview that if the police had warned him that he'd be arrested if he drank that night, he would have immediately started packing. Such was his dependence on alcohol. Perry's journey through addiction was marked by moments of darkness and loss. He admitted to not remembering three years of his time on Friends, which spanned from seasons three to six. It's essential to note that he never intended to develop an alcohol dependency. Still, he found solace in drinking, which eventually led him down the path of alcoholism. A jet ski accident in 1997 further complicated matters, and the prescription of Vecadin propelled him deeper into addiction. Strangely, he had a rule never to drink while working, but he often showed up to work with severe hangovers. In 1997, Perry spent 28 days in treatment at the Hazelden facility in Minnesota. Though he briefly managed to maintain his sobriety, he was later admitted to the hospital for two weeks due to alcohol-induced pancreatitis. It was only in February 2001, when his situation reached its worst, that Perry decided to seek help. This hiatus in his career led to the two-month suspension of the movie Serving Sarah. Perry was determined to get better and return to Friends after spending 82 months in a private rehabilitation program. In 2002, Perry told the New York Times that he didn't quit drinking because he wanted to, but because he was afraid he might not survive the next day. He even went on to establish a sober living facility for men in Malibu, called the Perry House in 2013. He considered his ability and willingness to assist anyone seeking help with their drinking problem as one of his greatest strengths. Perry's struggles didn't end there. In 2018, he spent three months in the hospital after suffering a gastrointestinal perforation, which required surgery to close the hole. This was a result of his opioid addiction, and he revealed that his colon had burst, almost taking his life when he was just 49. Doctors had given him a mere 2% chance of survival, and he needed an extracorporeal membrane oxygenation system to provide him with oxygen and take over his body's natural breathing mechanisms. The scars from his 14 stomach operations serve as a constant reminder of his health crisis, but they also play a vital role in maintaining his sobriety. Throughout his battles with addiction, Perry's Friends co-stars were a significant source of support. He was open about his struggles with addiction and health issues during the filming of the show, and Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Lisa Kudrow, Matt Leblanc, and David Schwimmer were there for him both publicly and privately. Perry has always praised their tolerance and compassion. He has mentioned that he would trade all his wealth and fame for a life without addiction. According to him, friends not only gave him a paycheck but also helped save his life by providing a creative outlet. Marta Kaufman, co-creator of Friends, recalled how she approached Perry during the last season of the show, expressing her delight at having him back. She described the system put in place to support him, saying that most people on set were aware of it and there were conversations about his struggles. Perry's journey to recovery was not a solitary one. He had a strong support system in place. The cast friendship endured over the years, as demonstrated by the 2021 HBO Max reunion. Matthew Perry's new memoir, Friends, Lovers, and the Big Terrible Thing, chronicles his life's highs and lows. He shares that harrowing experience of coming close to death at the age of 49, when his colon burst due to opioid overuse. He delves into the details of spending two weeks in a coma, five months in the hospital, and nine months with a colostomy bag. Perry believes that now, after getting free of active alcoholism and addiction, is the right time to share his story with the world. He hopes his experience will be beneficial to others, 
Perry has faced many relapses over the years, but he is now healthier and equipped with the tools needed to maintain his sobriety. While he doesn't disclose the length of his current sobriety streak, he emphasizes that even if someone relapses, the years spent sober and the knowledge gained can be a valuable foundation to rebuild upon. Perry's commitment to helping those battling substance abuse remains unwavering. He was the sole survivor among five individuals placed on an ECMO machine on the night he was admitted to the hospital. Perry's journey has left him with a profound question, one that humbles and makes him grateful. He believes that readers will be shocked by how bad things became at times and how close he came to death. However, he hopes that his story will resonate with people and emphasize that addiction can affect anyone, regardless of their success or fame. Perry has emerged from the darkness of addiction stronger in every aspect. He finds optimism in his story, as he has made it to the other side of the tunnel. In conclusion, Matthew Perry's battle with addiction was a long and challenging journey, but his determination and the support of his friends and co-stars helped him overcome it. His new memoir sheds light on the darkest moments of his life and he hopes that sharing his story will benefit others facing similar struggles.